Close your eyes and settle in with the breath. The mind needs a home, otherwise it wanders around. Exposed to the sun, exposed to the rain, the heat and the cold. Sometimes it's like a child wandering out of the house. It's going to be kidnapped or run over by a car. In other words, if you let your mind wander around, who knows what it's going to run into? This is why we're trying to provide it with a good place at home, here at the breath. It's like giving the child toys to play with, things to keep it interested and occupied. So it doesn't think about going out, it begins to realize there's a lot to learn and a lot to enjoy inside. You can play with the breath in different ways. You can play with your perceptions of what's going on in the present moment in different ways. And it's not just playing. You're learning a lot about the mind, how it fashions its, its experience. And then you look at the way you ordinarily fashion it, and you realize how much unnecessary suffering you're causing for yourself. This is an important principle. We don't see the suffering we're causing ourselves because we take it for granted. It's there pretty much all the time. When something's there all the time, you don't notice it. But when you step out of it for a while, then you have something to compare it with. You go, then you go back into your ordinary ways of thinking, ordinary ways of dealing with the world. And you realize how unskillful they can be. And so you learn how to bring new insight into how you relate to the world. As the Buddha said, there are three ways you fabricate your experience. The way you breathe, the way you talk to yourself, and the perceptions and feelings you focus on. And he's calling attention to the fact that you have your choices. You're not just stuck with this, your old stories or old perceptions or your old breathing habits. You can change them. And you change them with knowledge, and it turns that process of fabrication from a cause of suffering into the path to the end of suffering. So bring as much awareness as you can to these processes. They're happening right here, right now. And you realize that by staying home, you learn an awful lot. Staying in this home for the mind. This is the opposite of the world. It, Usually in the world you want to learn something, you have to go out and look around. But here it's looking inside. You see how everything gets put together inside. You get more sensitive to how you can learn new habits and avoid old ways of causing yourself suffering. And that's a lesson that's really worth learning. <laughs>